Based on a true story means nothing nowadays. You know, you can have a movie that has like demons attacking priests or whatever, and it's like based on a true story, you know? I realized it was an opportunity to tell a true story and not really embellish it much. It was truly one of those stories that was too good to be true already. I'm Kyle Alvarez. I'm the director of the Stanford Prison Experiment, which is playing in the U.S. Dramatic Competition at the 2015 Sundance Film Festival. The Stanford Prison Experiment is about what happened in 1971 when this professor named Phil Zimbardo, played by Billy Crudup in the film, decided to, at the end of the summer, take you know, 18 volunteers, some of them were students, some of them weren't, and create what was a mock prison setting. And it was supposed to last for two weeks, and the aim was to just sort of observe what these kids would do, you know, under this situation. What, what happens when you give individuals a title by means of arbitrary things, costumes and numbers and titles and those kind of things, how does that change you? How fast does that change you? And is that part of human nature? And, you know, it quickly escalated to a place that they never knew. It was always about trying not to make it a documentary, because you could make a documentary about this, and it would probably be pretty good. So you have to keep on asking yourself, well, why are we doing this as a film? Why are we doing this as a film? Why, why, why? And for me, it always came back to the same thing, which is like performance. A movie that when you watch it feels like an emotional experience, so then afterwards, when you like, you know, hopefully Wikipedia it, like right as the movie ends, you go, oh, wait a second, they didn't have to fuck with it that much. I'm curious to see if people are able to conjecture the truths from it. I've been working on this for three years now, and so, you know, there's certain things you imagine and sequences you imagine, and then they take shape when you actually shoot them and when actors actually perform them. And, and so you sort of, I realize, oh, I've been waiting three years since when I read the script for the first time to sort of see how an audience responds to it. And so um, this will be the first chance I get to do that. And that's, that's what you work tirelessly for, is to be able to then hand it over. And it's like the best platform in the world to hand your movie over and then, and then stand back and stand away from it and, and see, see what shape it takes in terms of people's perception of it.